let's take a detailed look at some of the cute spreads that my patrons posted on Instagram in February. First, I just want to mention that unfortunately, I don't have time this week to do the whole inspiration thing and make a spread because I am very overwhelmed with everything I have to do for Go Wild, which is tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk about the spreads a little bit, show you some of these really talented individuals. And if you like what you see, please give them a follow on Instagram. First up, we have this really pretty and well-balanced spread by Steffi's 145. It's a skinny classic spread, which in my opinion is pretty hard to decorate. These are stickers from Live Love Posh, and I love the stickers and the colors. Um, if you use code BUMBLE10, you can get 10% off at Live Love Posh. The Chic Spring Book is beautiful, so go check that out. But yeah, I just really like this one. The florals at the bottom add a really pretty touch and that girl in the middle with that skirt. Oh my gosh. I wish I could pull off an outfit like that, but I cannot. And we've already discussed, I don't wear heels. No. Girls in my planner, they can wear heels and apparently in Steph's planner as well. So really pretty spread here. Next, we have a spread by Danica Chayer. And this one, actually, she said in her caption that it was inspired by me. So that's really cool because it's really pretty. And the stickers she used are from the Girly Geek Paper Company, who I've never heard of, but I should check out. Really pretty Valentine's Day spread with strawberries. I love that gingham green washi tape. Love it. Need to know where you got that, Danica. That's super stickery and it just gives off such a romantic vibe. I recognize these stickers that are in Creating with Joe's planner. They are from Martinez Sticker Company. So Creating with Joe made a really cute cake pop spread and also Starbucks. Like, why not? Let's just add in all the sweets for Valentine's Day week. You can see that Joe obviously uses her planner to its full potential and she also likes Chipotle. I can see that on Thursday night. For some reason, that stuck out because I'm a Chipotle girl. Burrito bowl for the win. Colleen Dot Plans made such a cute March Currently page. I love this. There's a little bit of scrapbook paper at the bottom of the page. And then we have three girls who are holding these balloons, which are actually just circle box stickers, but she drew lines to them like they're balloons. And I think that's so creative and fun. Pleasantly Planned actually has a Patreon of her own and she makes custom spreads for her patrons, which I think is so cool because now I'm promoting her Patreon on my Patreon video. Mind blown. Anyway, she actually decorated a plum paper planner here. You can see it's not a happy planner. I love how this turned out. It's very soft and pretty. And that little pop of like grid washi tape on some of the boxes really makes a difference in my opinion. The flowers are beautiful too. Chantel and Chaos made such a cute Mardi Gras spread here. I don't know if those stickers are something she printed on her own or if she purchased them, but they're really cute and colorful. And the combination of green, purples, and yellows is very festive. My Little Planning Corner used the new Oh How Lovely sticker book for this one, and it's really, really cute. I love the layered washi tape in the different sections there. It's really pretty and brings in those colors. And can we just talk about how Marisol styles her photos because they're always so good. I love what Band 63 did here because the left side of the page is like blues and purples and the right side of the page is pinks and yellows. And I think that's really cool. There is some purple on the right side too that ties it all together. It just feels like spring is coming. You know what I mean? It's one of those really cute springy spreads. Winslow's only hope must love the game Settlers of Catan because she made a spread all about it. I love it when people make spreads that highlight one of their favorite things, you know, like I made an avocado spread because I love avocados and um, she obviously loves this game. So I think that's really cool. It's an interesting way to decorate the horizontal as well with all of those hexagons. The Crafter Mom made a really pretty Valentine's Day spread with stickers from Caitlin Plans. If you haven't checked her out, she makes really cute stickers. And I love her handwriting. It's so pretty. This really appeals to me. It's very busy. You knew I would like this one, I guess, right? Confused but happy planner, by the way. Me too. <laughs> um, she made a really cute spread in a non-happy planner planner. And... It's a little living room. 
how cute is this? With like a little rug, books piled up on the side. It just feels very cozy for wintertime spread, don't you think? Planner Bespelled made a fantastic spread for Black History Month. I love what this represents. I love the truth down on the left-hand side, the butterflies. Um, this is amazing and it's very meaningful. Planner Babe JB is always doing interesting things with stickers and this time is no exception because we have these clusters of hexagons and what she did was she used stickers that we always forget to use, those little hexagons that say busy day or to do. You know, um, there's so many of them in all the books, not every book, but of course there's a lot. And I love how, you know, she was able to use the stickers that she may not have used in a spread that's intentional. So I like this one. Sparkle Dot Plans made such a cute, cozy critter spread with that cozy critter sticker book. I love how the pinks are balanced between the poodle on the left-hand side and the big picture frame on the right-hand side. And it's fun and whimsical, so totally my style. That's one of my favorite sticker books. Only organized in my planner, her daughter had a birthday this week and she used stickers from Caitlin Plans. I love this because it's so feminine and pastel and yet very, very festive and fun at the same time. I really like these stickers. Might need to get my hands on those. This Nurse Plans is feeling lucky on her March Currently page. I love this because of its simplicity and because of its design. So it it's an example of how a page can look really, really good, but you don't have to do a whole lot to it. You don't have to put stickers all over the place like I do. Like you can actually put bigger stickers on it. It'll look really cool. There's plenty of room for her to write her goals for the month. And I love that note page on the right-hand side. It's so fun and festive. God's Girl Plans made a really pretty February monthly spread. Monthly spreads are hard to decorate, but she nailed this one. It's very romantic. I love the flowers at the bottom. I also love how she used highlighters to just put some bullet points on the days that she needed to. Um, I like that idea for a monthly spread. Those combined with the boxes, I think it'll be very useful and very pretty. The musical planner loves Disney and I love this combination of Beauty and the Beast on her spread for Valentine's Day because they're in love, right? And I think that the yellow and the blue really complement the reds all around it. And I wouldn't have thought that until I saw it. And I'm thinking it really, really works. Even though there's no blue on the left-hand side, really, it doesn't bother, that, that doesn't bother me because it just makes sense to my brain. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I really like this combo. So good job. Donna Ann Plans used the Zay Wild sticker book for this one. That's an underrated sticker book. I really do like that one. Um, I don't love llamas, but that llama is okay with me. You know what I mean? Like, I think that llama, I don't know. Maybe it's because her eyes are closed or she has a little smile on her face. We're going to call her Bella. Yeah. I like the ripped washi tape around the page and the neutral colors with that little pop of purple. It's fun. Plan Create Decorate made a red spread in honor of Wear Red Day, which is a day in the UK in aid of Children's Heart Surgery Fund. I love when people spread awareness through their spreads. I know I just said spread twice, but it makes me happy. It makes my heart happy. And so she went all out with this one using a digital download by Pretty Printables on Etsy, who I've never heard of, but I really like this vintage vibe and the way the stickers are tilted and everything. The planning pastor made this really pretty dashboard planner spread in her work planner. She used a Coco Daisy kit and also stickers from Planny Thing and Happy Planner. And I love the stars in the middle, that's so fun. And the left-hand side where it says, you light up the sky, it feels very motivational. A Plus Plans used one of the Faith sticker books for this spread in a horizontal layout, Happy Planner. I love it so much because it seems very functional and also decorative. So I think this is her wellness planner and I like the little check boxes so that she can check off all her habits and stuff. So I think this is really pretty and functional. I'm gonna do something I've never done on one of these Patreon videos and share my favorite spread of the month that I posted on Instagram. Yeah, 
I thought it would be interesting so you guys would know which one was my favorite. And this is my favorite picture that I posted this past month because I love the reading tracker that I made. If you didn't see that video, you can go check that out. And I'm having fun reading and tracking it in my planner this year, not just on Goodreads. And also the picture I just feel like is so delicate and pretty. Look at that little coffee cup. That's from Archer and Olive. I think it's from their last subscription box and it's so cute, isn't it? And the little blankie. I don't know. It feels cozy and romantic at the same time. I really like this photo, the lighting. Oh yeah. I'm patting myself on the back for this photo. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm so sorry that I didn't have time to make a spread with inspiration from one of these amazing planners, you know, but again, check them out on Instagram and give me a follow as well. Because if you're a decorative planner, it always helps to just look at planner photos a lot so that you can not copy, but it just, I don't know, it inspires you in some way. It sort of jump starts your creativity a little bit, right? Just be sure that if you find an idea from another creator that you credit them if you post it anywhere because that's how we support each other in the planner community. So that's it for this video. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.